welcome all and thank you so much for joining this event today. We're going to show you something today and we've been working on this for a couple of years already and we're really excited to, to finally show this to you. Before we can dig all the way into that, we need to explain a little bit about the background of why we are even here talking about these things. So let's do that first. A very obvious thing has been that the energy prices have been really, really high over the last year. Parts of the year last year, we saw prices increasing as much as 600% all across Europe. This whole thing, transitioning ourselves from 80% fossil electricity production in Europe over to 90% renewable, that's going to take some time to get around. So that's the first thing. The second thing we see is that consumers have become really, really smart about how to consume and when to consume energy. We see that there has been a huge movement away from the fixed price contracts that has been the tradition in most of Europe over to hourly priced energy contracts, which means that I as a customer, I can control my own destiny way better. So I can move consumption away from a super high priced hour, for instance, at four o'clock, over to a cheaper one. Obviously, this is the thing that gets even better with the right kind of technology. So we see high prices on one end, and we see volatility on the other end. And then we have a third thing coming in. We see that all across Europe, politicians, governments are talking about energy efficiency, making the consumption smarter, not just the production. And we see the response from consumers as well. We see a lot more movement into heat pumps, into smart heating, basically trying to figure out different ways consuming less energy. And that is highly needed in the transition over to renewable energy society. So these three things, high prices, volatile prices, and the push for energy efficiencies, they're leading somewhere. They're leading to the fact that my home can become energy independent. So let's take you through that. The first thing is, well, the ability that I have to have full control and overview of my home. Real-time energy metering, the transparency of hourly prices in the Tiber app, and analytics telling me how to consume energy better. That is the first building block of a true independent home. The second is smart appliances. Like we talked about, energy efficiency. We see that there is a lot of new appliances coming into the grid. And getting control of consumption in your home, car charging, heating, other appliances working together, the ability to control the appliances is the second building block. The third very obvious thing is that you also need to produce energy at home. We now see that solar panels have become quite cheap, affordable, great solutions out there, and a lot of different households have already bought a solar panel for the rooftop. So things are really coming into place. Now, there is one piece missing in all of this, and that is energy storage. Instead of me talking about this today, I've invited a dear friend and a true expert in this area, Stefan Jansson from Polarium. Welcome. Thank you, Ed. Super nice to be here. Hello, everyone. My name is Stefan Jansson. I am the CEO and founder of Polarium. I have been working with batteries my entire life, and the batteries is the missing link in the renewable energy system. At Polarium, we develop energy storage system. It consists of battery modules, battery systems, and smart energy optimization system. We have been delivered more than half a million batteries across the world, from Ghana to Svalbard to more than 70 countries. If you look into a battery system or a battery itself, it really starts with it contains a lot of energy. It has to be safe. If this energy is being released uncontrolled, it can be safety concern. Safety is on our top priority. So all products we produce are the safest product on the market. Apart from safety, we talk about storing things. It means that energy is being stored and energy is being released. A very important factor is what we call turnaround efficiency. 
When you take electricity from the grid, you need to convert it to DC, AC to DC, to store it in the battery. And you need to convert it back from DC to AC in order to use it in your household. To achieve this high efficiency and this safety, we have a cutting edge technology developed in Sweden, where we develop all electronics and the whole design of the system. We are very proud and recognized with our cutting edge technology, but we have reasons to come back to this later. So with that, Ed, please join me and we're going to talk about how this technology can support independent homes. Exactly. And we've been looking into this together. And what we figured is that there is a problem with many residential batteries today. So let's take you through them. Number one is about communications, connectivity. Most batteries are not able to communicate with the rest of the world today. And why is this a problem? Well, if you cannot communicate with the world, you cannot know what the prices are, you cannot know what the other devices in the home is doing, and you're not able to become really independent or able to deliver the potential which lies within a battery. And, and to add on to that, it also means that existing batteries out there are not future-proof because exactly. they are not connected. The other point is costs. Well, a battery is costly by its nature. It's a big thing. But the real problem is the payback time of the battery. So it takes a lot of time, many years, in order to pay back the battery. And many of those reasons is that it's not able to deliver more value than just store the energy. The next problem is about design. So we've seen a lot of batteries, and we see that they're not all very pretty. Many of them are designed to stay more or less in a dark room. And then we have a fourth one, which is all about, well, the experience for me to buy and, and get this installed. So it's quite difficult, quite complex to, to do all the research, figuring out what is compatible. So these are true problems. Now, Quite obviously, I guess it's already in the air. We've been working on a few things here together. So maybe it's about time to actually show what we've been doing. Or what do you think? Yes, let's yes. do it. So that is Homevolt. This is the residential product that Tiber and Polarium has been developing for a long time. And I'm extremely proud of the design of the product, the smartness of the product. But Ed, please walk us through what the product do. Thank you, thank you. And it's been thrilling working together with you. So what we're going to do now is to walk through a few other things. It's, it's packed with a lot of stuff, but we're going to walk through a few of the things that we want to highlight. So, let's move into that. The first thing is the outside, the design, and the smartness. Because the fundamental thing here is that we wanted to really make the smartest product on the market. And in terms of achieving the smartest product, well, the natural thing is then to put connectivity in. We built in 4G, we built in Wi-Fi, so that it always stays connected. The second thing is that it, of course, talks to Tibber. It talks to the Tibber app, and you have the overview of what is the state of the charge, what is it doing right now, history, what it has been doing, and more importantly, what is it going to do? And within the Tibber app, you can also choose what is the mode you want to have the battery running in? You can run the battery in full automated, let's call it savings mode, do that based on solar energy and so on, or you can manually control the battery in the way you would like to do it. So that is built in. However, having a smart battery doesn't stop there. What we did put in there as well is an openness. 
So we built an open API so you can connect your battery to other products. So if there are smart homemakers out there, other products, etc., it comes with an open API that anybody can use. It's really, really low threshold starting to use that. The next thing is design. So we've been talking about Batteries are big and clunky. What we try to do is put everything inside one small box. So what we have within the box itself, well, we're going to talk about that soon, but it, everything is in there. You don't need any other devices outside of the battery. And we put a small lead strip in the front of the product. So what this one does is well, it more or less speaks to you. It shows, shows you what the battery is doing. It shows you how it is working right now, the state of charge. So within one small lead strip, we've been able to make the product talk to you. Now, there is one more thing, thinking about how should the design of Homevault look like. So we added three colors. Three colors to really match the car, should match the home, or it should just, well, stick out from the crowd. So that's what we did. So another part is how to actually buy it and how to install it. And we put a lot of efforts into that as well. It comes with the inverter. There is no hidden fees when it comes to installation. It comes with all the different components that you might need to run around, get from different places. We put it all in one package. The other part is compatible. It's so much complexity around different solar installations, different, different cables, different uh, electric systems, and so on. Now, we made the product available and compatible so that it just works out of the box. The only thing your installer needs to do is connect it to the fuse box. That's how it should work, and that's how it works. And then the last thing is installation. So, we talked about a battery is quite normally a big and heavy thing. And we designed this product in a way so that only one installer can install this by himself because it comes with different modules which are really easy to slide in and put into place so that only one person can do this in a really short time. This makes installation cheaper, it makes it faster, and it makes it more safe to install as well. So that's what we did on the outside. So, we've been talking about the outside now. Let's have a look at the technical stuff inside the battery. So, please go ahead, Stefan. So, let's look inside the cover of the product. It's like everything else. It's into the details that makes a difference. So, if we start to look into the size of the product, it's a very slim, slick design of the product. It can have one battery module at 6.6 .6 kilowatt hour, or it can have two equal to 13.3 kilowatt hour. That's the size of the energy storage. Moving into the performance of the product, we have designed the product with the highest turnaround efficiency. This means that the battery modules are operating at higher voltage, equal to what's required by, by the inverter, in order to achieve this high efficiency, meaning we have very little losses from the system. It, it also comes with an inverter. It's actually a bi-directional grid-compliant inverter. What does that really mean? It means that it can be used all year around, so not only when you have so energy from your solar panel, but it also works to support the grid. It can take energy in both directions. The product is designed towards an IP65 standard. This means that it's weather protected against water, snow, and dust. It can be used in any climate conditions. It can be used indoor, and it can also be used outdoor. Homevault comes with the latest lithium technology that safeguards a long life of the product. When the product reaches end of life, it's fully circular. This means that the battery that we are using can be recycled and be used to produce a new 
battery. So that's the highlight of what's really inside of the product. Ed will talk a little bit about how we can use that and what it really means for you as, as a user. Awesome. It's so good, so much good stuff inside the battery. All right. Um, what we're going to talk about now is how you as a, well, you as a household, you as a consumer can basically utilize the full potential of the battery. Now, the one thing we have here is called load shifting. Earlier on in the presentation, we talked about volatile prices. Prices are really low, and that's where we charge the battery. And then later on in, during the day, prices might increase a lot. And that's typically how you spend the energy stored in the battery. And that is load shifting, helping you save money automatically. There's another. If you have a solar panel, you're able to store the excess energy from the solar panel into the battery. This is a very normal use case for batteries, and this is a baseline for Homevolt as well. And that's how Homevolt is helping your home becoming self-sufficient. Now, those two things in combination works really well together and helps you save energy. Now, then we did one more thing. We didn't stop by just saving money. We also wanted to figure out a way so that you could earn money on your Homevolt installation. And that's the last piece. And we call that grid rewards. Now, in order for the light to shine here today, there needs to be a perfect balance between production and consumption in the electric system. This is being regulated not just every hour, but every second, and even every millisecond. So how that works is that there are grid operators, national and local, and what they do is to regulate the grid. So what we have done here is to allow households to participate in that. So basically, when your home is helping the grid, you can actually see this within the Tibber app. You can see it when it happens. You can see how it accumulates the earnings for your home. And when the month is over, you will see this on your energy bill coming from Tibber. There will be a separate line stating how much did your battery generate for your home this month. And that is what we call grid rewards. Now, let's summarize a little bit about what we have talked about today. We talked about home vault, we talked about the design, we talked about the uh, smartness in all of that. We also talked about the technology and what's inside the cover of the product. And we talked about how home vault can support saving and even earning money on energy in your home. So what is left is pricing. So the two different editions, 6.6 .6 and 13.3, is coming with installation and everything included. So Homevolt is already available today on Tibber store, tibber.com, for pre-orders in Norway, pre-orders in Sweden. In Germany and Netherlands, we have it ready for a waiting list and then launch later on. And the first installations in Sweden and in Norway will start the fourth quarter of this year. And I think, Ed, that's it for today. That's it. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.